I'm a political junkie. So I followed this stuff really deeply and it always made sense to me that she was the one. I was in Topeka as I got in my car. It said uh, announcement with a VP will be within an hour and it's 30 minutes back to the field. So I drove here as fast as I could. I left CNN on and I got out of my car and I got my sketch that I'd already created of Kamala and I had the field gridded and all of the flags and ready to go. And when they said, and it's Kamala, it's her, it's her, it's her. So I grabbed my sketch and I walked out into the field with, within minutes, actually. I say 30 minutes, but it was probably shorter than that. And I began to lay her portrait out. So this is an exceptionally uh, unique project in that it happened with perfect weather. It happened in seven days, but I had been out here three or four days gridding. So usually these take two weeks. It, we cut it down to a shorter period of time and it, everything worked well. I have a crew of seven or eight people. I have a dozen or more people who have donated to this project that are an amazing group of grassroots folks. Grassroots, what the Democratic Party is about is bringing people of disparate you know, uh, thinking together around the common cause. Uh, this is the common ground, uh, which, is, uh, which is what we're promoting here. Like if you want to alter a little bit. Can you make me look handsome? Well, I mean, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I began to do his portrait because after South Carolina, I had a, a very strong feeling that he was going to be our guy. I have had reach out to the campaign since day one. Uh, they're aware of us. They're standing on the eye here. Uh, this is like painting. And so the dark mulch and then the compost and then the lighter mulch, the grass, the mowed grass. So there's like seven different layers of color out here. Uh, there's a highlight of the cheek. Um, everything changes a bit when the sun starts to go down, but uh, we basically spent seven days out here knocking this out of the Kansas prairie and mowing it. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. So, uh, Looks like one of those sightseeing helicopters with the high blade. What they do is they just bust things down into seven colors background, dark, brown, light brown, green, and actually it's five colors. So I'm just gonna put this white in right here and it'll be a, an, a highlight on the upper lip. So, uh, you know, our hope is that we might have the Democratic nominee for President Joe Biden and, and the Vice President Kamala Harris uh, uh, to actually visit us on the field in Kansas, to connect with rural America in this way. We also have a, 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 an incredible complement of, of strong women. Uh, Kansas has a history of strong women in politics. Uh, we have Kathleen Sebelius here, who is uh, HHS secretary and governor. We have Governor Laura Kelly. We have uh, Sharice Davids. We have uh, a woman running for Senate, Barbara Boyer, uh, Michelle De La Isla out of Topeka. Uh, Sandy Prager was an insurance commissioner here. So uh, these women would love to uh, greet the uh, the incoming president and his and his running mate uh, Kamala Harris on this field uh, we're we're here to do that invitation and we would love to have them come out at any time they can and and they can actually uh, man the weed eater. <laughs>